the narrow handlebars make this sort of work light. I'm finding this bike uh, Moorish. I, I think I know why and I'm going to explain why in a bit. I'm just heading to a slightly better location. front of that car in the pedal assist I had selected it was doing about 12 12.5 and just pushing down this hill it's pushing itself it's doing about 18 it rolls really well Anything electric I've ever ridden has always had like a normal bike saddle. And this seems to be the difference. You can just throw it about everywhere and also the slightly narrower bars make things a little bit easier no kids around let's see if we can get up this hill oh yes With these hubs, you're never going to do a standing start on a, a decent slope. But with the majority of them, as long as you've got a good build up and you commit, I usually make it. When I tested my the first version of this, I'd never ridden anything like this in this category and also a production build. Not pedals, not a proper bicycle. And this made me realise the benefits of picking the right bike for the right job. Obviously I sort of knew, but if this is what you're riding most of the time, then this is perfect.
you know what? I was just thinking it'd be so funny if I ripped a skid up just next to them. <laughs> I bet you that would have made them jump. That's my humour. Oh no. Oh, fail. Oh, we got going again. It's just trying to pedal on the angle. I'm getting used to the indicator, but it's made me think, why not have a set of them on the front, not just the back? Just an idea. It'd make it a bit safer. For those times in need, when you want to be seen, or need to be. Here we are then. I'm gonna remove my helmet. So I don't look so dodgy coming in a place like this. This is what it's all about. It's a nice peaceful location, although there is some little kids around. We're gonna Stand it out of anyone's way, just in case anyone wants to pass. I come down here for a bit of peace and quiet, but all I can hear is the ducks quacking off. So I've been thinking, why, why am I enjoying this bike? Why is it, it's, it's, it is the comfortability, the practicality, and the manoeuvrability combined with this motorbike style seat that sets it off for me that is what's making the the ride comfortable i think as well as the other little factors the 20 inch four by four inch fat tires and that rear shock it does all help but that having that larger seat makes riding more enjoyable and you're slightly more upright on this the bars are slightly up so you're in a really a good a good position to be in if you're going to be in it for a long time do you know what i mean but that seat i'm used to just normal bicycle seats so this to me is just setting it off and also i have seen some bikes similar design called the jensen or jensen uh, they're quite cheap and they look very similar but they're totally not. If you look at this uh, rear swing arm, whatever you want to call it, on the other one, it's got, it touches the frame, I think, from what I can see and gather. But this one, yeah, you haven't got much um, movement for the shock to move, but you've got enough. Now, what I would really like, I would really like some sort of self-propelled twist throttle or thumb throttle I know you're not supposed to but that would just set it off for me and just a few other little touches maybe get some indicators on the front like I've mentioned just like on the back but yeah I think that would improve the bike slightly just in safety features and one other thing the battery well it's all right it's adequate but I prefer a bigger battery and you do get a bit of battery sag when you're giving it some for a long stretch in the highest gear which you would expect from a 48 volt 12.8 amp hour battery but just having a larger amp hour battery I think would benefit the bike again 
Also, personally, I would like a headlight switch for high and low beam rather than just the one setting because I do find it's very bright and when I approach a car or something I, I find myself wanting to lean forward and just pull it down a bit uh, maybe I'm just being over polite but that's just just something I think would again improve it a little bit and before that I mentioned the battery I say that because the bike is still a cheap full suspension fat tyre bike with the 750 motor and a 48 volt battery that is sort of the going rate if not a little bit cheaper maybe I'm trying to get too much with the battery maybe they should have a separate option for that I'm trying to keep this short and sweet but overall I'm really loving it as you can tell I've, I've done a lot of miles on both these bikes now but once I tasted the 750 over the 250 well I didn't really want to go back I will if I have to but for now, I'm just enjoying jumping on this bike whenever I can and just riding around. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I, I've picked up on. I always forget to mention this lock. Not that it's going to do much. It's a little bit extra. You'll never have enough, but you can never have too much. Security. For your bikes. Since I've had a little bit of time to gather some more thoughts and opinions on the bike, that is just what I wanted to share here today. I'm going to take a few pictures of the bike around this lake now and sort of start heading back towards mine. This is just a lovely, relaxing situation being on the bike and having the daffodils and snowdrops either side of me whilst riding through some massive old trees heading towards a stately home but we're going to have to turn before that stately home I'm afraid they won't let us in there Slipping out on gravel. You can also give it a bit when you want. There's the local battle cruiser.
no! I think it's starting to rain. Spit anyway. Power on, come on. Bit of a delay. about feathering those pedals the perfect time to get that power pushing you out that corner bloody hell crikey she was going to go then she thought about it thought about it hard now I'm going to start heading back I've had a nice little joyride that's what it's all about <laughs> 